candle, shine as light. It's a symbol. It's a symbol. But because of some of these white garment people and so on, sometimes we don't even put it up. This so, one is a little candle. We are just going to light it and all carry it up as a symbol of our fight. You, a unified uh, struggle, so now we go living with the child is a little yes, candle, not a big brass. white one. <laughs> so you will see it a little one, and then we just the blow part, it up. The, 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 the smaller the candle, the more they get the way. Please don't read too much into it. Yes, we read it. We don't do it. I can't buy it. I think that can be. I can't do it. I don't be too much into it, honestly. We don't know the cross attraction at people who are this local candle. Yeah. They say, oh, these are people protesting against HIV. Yeah, don't be too much. I know what you are saying. I'm no. into deliverance. I know. Per se, yeah. Madam, yeah. candle per se has no, good, has no bad meaning in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but the overuse of it. I know. How people now use it. Yeah. If not, Revelation tells more about the use of candle. Thank you. Please, that is the last. Yeah, I, I want to talk about your level of campaign and conscientization. Because you said you have gone into all the nukes and credit. But of course, we are saying Motopolis has not felt the impact. If I will be very frank and kind. Because the, 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 the issue we are talking about is very essential. And uh, many of us in our various studies have done little or nothing about that. In terms of uh, health week, in the Baptist setting, we have what we call health week. Or you can tackle some other minor things, leaving the HIV, because it will take a whole lot of time to be well analyzed. Then, what I want to say, you know, there's nothing I discovered that has not been done. And that could be difficult to be done. It will be a long way to draw us closer and possibly win more souls. At least those we could diagnose and those who will run the campaign. And that is the area of, uh, have we been able to sit down in the office there where you had an apartment and then created polo, anti-HIV and S rally, and people move in as much as they carry out, you know, citywide crusade, you know, and when we say crusade, we want to see, that, make sure that we stand oh. against the powers of that place. Or taking up, getting people, consultizing them in various communities, and people come in good number, and we take up rally, beating drums and spreading out to hand bills, hand bills, possibly because I know that the Americans they like a certain drafting, you know, putting images or so on, those that are suffering and those that are surviving, and possibly we say we carry it all over the places, and the people from Kaba area, close to Abuja there, will they come from that way, and the people from Motai will also come from there. And we meet together in a particular area, and then everybody now feels the impact. Then, if we who are now the custodian of this message go back to the pulpit and disseminate information, because we are the custodians now, then possibly our members will now either sluggishly or boldly come to relate with us in this atmosphere. Then, I want to discourage you absolutely, don't deal with the politicians of this generation, mostly in Nigeria. They are conscious of what Americans give to you so that you will achieve to them. It goes through the local chairman, it goes through the council. Today um, we are doing a candlelight memorial service in honor of people living with HIV and people who have died of the virus here in Ogoni because as you know HIV AIDS is killing out here. Um, so today is a day that we really set aside to really remember and support these people. A lot of them are outside. I want you to really love on them and encourage them. But um, for lack of time, I will go straight to my address. Um, address by Evangelist Gloria Tawani Teofilas. I'm president, founder of HIV AIDS Education and Development Center. 
I welcome all of you here today, this distinguished guests, women, ladies and gentlemen, for this historic event in Ogoni. Getting zero, zero related deaths, was this year World AIDS Day 18. It was announced on September 5th in South Africa. World AIDS Day this year was about getting zero, zero new infections, zero discrimination, and zero related deaths. But by the United Nations, the Getting Zero campaign runs until 2015 and build on last year's successful World AIDS Day Light or Right initiatives, encompassing a range of vital issues identified by key affected populations. The potential for creative, connected, and meaningful campaigning is exciting, says World AIDS Day campaign director Linda Malfo. Our focus, she said, is on zero related deaths. However, other organizations can choose, can choose different zeros or all three in their campaigning to stamp out HIV AIDS in this generation and generation to come. This new world is a campaign focused on zero related deaths to signify a push forward greater access to children for all. A call for government to act now at the local, state, and national level. A demand they, they must honor promises like the Abuja Declaration that African government, at the very least, agreed to target domestic spending on health and HIV in support of human rights to the best attainable level of health care for all. The global AIDS response is at a pivotal moment where huge success forward are at a great risk and current approaches are reaching their limits. One third of the, five, the 15 million people living with HIV AIDS in need of life-saving treatment are not receiving it. New infections continue to outspace the number of people starting treatment. While the upward trend in resources suffered, the, the, the serious, a, suffered a serious downturn, new infection and zero discrimination are equally as likely to spark high impact event from small scale community VGs to nationwide event using the universal organized shape, recognized shape of zero, the power of life to get life and death issues the attention they deserve. From December 2011 to December 2015, it envisioned that different region groups will each year choose the one of the zero or all three zeros that best address their situation. HIV AIDS. Okay. HIV AIDS Education and Development Center. It's choosing all three zeros. Zero new infections, zero discrimination, zero greater deaths in Ogoni. It's shown this year to go with the Millennium Development Related Goals of getting all zeros, of getting to zero comes after ex extensive discussion among people living with HIV AIDS, health activists, broader civil society, and many others. More than a hundred organizations in all. The turn of event in the Millennium has provided us with occasion of profound reflection. about the type of world we want to live in and the kind of generation we want our children to live in. There is no most important health crisis issue for us today to consider in this generation than HIV AIDS. Would you as a people burden our children, 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 because we have failed to act now and respond adequately for this pandemic or take decisive action and if possible, turn back the progression of this pandemic in Ogoni, River State and the world. Posterity will not forgive us if we as all people continue to ignore the threat of HIV AIDS and the devastation is causing in our community. In our, in our community, Faces of women, men, and children living with HIV AIDS and AIDS often in the Doni are in our midst today. Please do not leave here today and with your eyes closed or ears closed to the cry of these vulnerable people needing our collective help. 
Because you and I can do something, yes we can. It is our calling, our mandate to care for the poor amongst us. The community of people can help them meet some of their needs. Yes, I say we can. Yes, collectively we can make a difference if we work together. In our fight against HIV AIDS in Odoni, prejudicial customs and ignorance is one of the factors that has kept us behind and perpetuate the spread of HIV AIDS in our community. Prejudice, as we know, is a great child of ignorance because many of those infected are ignorant of the presence of AIDS in our world today. And those refusing to help from the highest to the lowest are ignorant of their divine calling that they can really make a difference in the life of those suffering. The most violent element in society today is ignorance. So let us not continue in ignorance because preconceived ignorance are the locks on the door to wisdom grounded in godly principles that bring enlightenment, love, and encouragement. Please do not judge people because if you judge, you have no time to love them. For love covers a multitude of sin. With unconditional love comes encouragement and an acceptance because there is strength in number. It is the greatest of all mistakes to do nothing because you and I can do a little. So do what you can and act as if, as if what you do make a difference because it does. I am personally appealing to our government, both at the local and state level, to support local NGOs such as ours working to complement their commitment to our people in who are alone because it's the right thing to do. I want to express my profound you know, gratitude for those who supported the HIV programming in Bori from the beginning. When uh, Father Payoski was one of those that supported my vision when I came here in the early 90s to talk about HIV AIDS. So I, I thank you today for his support and for his prayers. And for my mom and my dad, my brothers and sisters, my in-laws, and the director of Saka here, who have diligently and my board of directors, with their devotion, help me in the cause of campaigning for HIV AIDS in the world. And I also want to turn my dear beloved friends um, of blessed memory, Lionel and Sonia Oku. They were the ones that always tell me, come on, you don't give up your vision to help our people because our people need you. You don't give up your vision. And I am here to you today Assuring you today that I will not give up that vision, God's willing. And I also want to turn on a go with Dada and His Royal Highness, Sean Bolligan, and Smith. We know <laughs> for their contribution to make this event successful today. Thank you all very much and have a wonderful day. Shalom. Peace. International UNA, USA, I mean, 
and Zion Keepers International UN.